So just arrived in London and I've been upgraded to a suite in at the Hilton uh, Canary Wolf. Quite nice. You got this little living room space with the TV on. It's always on when I walk in, I don't know why and how. And um, the little detail always cracks me up. The towel in the shape of a swan. This is cool. Tour is taking us to London this weekend. Very excited to be here in this lovely but freezing city. We're going to be meeting Victoria Roper, who you've met for the um, Majestic Challenge that we've done with Guillaume Diop. Um, Victoria and I are going to be assisting to the Romeo and Juliet performance done by the Royal Ballet. Um, and hopefully we're going to meet Stan. So disclaimer for those who complained that the last video had a lot of food, there will probably be a lot of food and coffee also involved in this one because we're going to be meeting Stan in between uh, the matinee and the evening shows. So we're probably going to want to have lunch. Sorry. <laughs> one thing you got to say about London is that they know how to make a proper beautiful square in the middle of the city. I'd love to have that just by my house and be able to like walk, chill out, whatever I need. Beautiful. On our way to the Raya Bali. It looks like intermission time. They're hungry. I mean, they'd be sitting for like an hour watching dancers and they are the hungry ones. Hello Victoria! Hello! How are you? I'm good, I'm excited. Excited about what? About me? Romeo mainly. In his tight pants. Oh, let's see. I'm famous, you know I charge, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, you charge. What, I have a what did you get? Darling. What did you get? Oh, what is it? It's gyoza. a veggie gyoza udon. udon. What did Tony you get? Hmm, quinoa burgers. What did you get? Quinoa. Quinoa. This guy, he's healthy. Yep. I got Thai chicken. I'm vegetarian. And she's taking pictures of food. And I'm vegetarian today too. Yeah, she's a vegetarian today. Today. And she takes pictures of the food. I take videos of my food. It's the refuge. Refuge. Des coupes de champagne. I really loved it. What a cool birthday gift. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Let's do it again. Soon. Let's do it again soon. Stephen, I missed you. Yes, Stephen, we missed you. Um, Let's do a challenge, maybe, or workshop, or like something. A turnout challenge? A turnout. Let's do a turnout. Let's do that turnout challenge. Turnout challenge because it's not because the turn is on the door that your legs should be. What? In English. It's not because the turns is on the door. The dancers will know what on the door means. Okay, good. I'm glad. I'll work on the anatomy. That that you turn that your legs should be. Okay. It should be an hashtag. Hashtag. An hashtag. An hashtag. An hashtag. Okay, good. Highly recommend this place called Cooks, right across the University of Law, London Bloomsbury on Store Street. They make amazing cones, which has like wrap, but like 10 times better. I have very much enjoyed the Royal Ballet performance of um, Kenneth Macmillan, Romeo and Juliet yesterday. It was the first time that I was seeing this version and I enjoyed it a lot. I felt that the story was flowing very well, enjoyed the stage settings as well, and the costumes were really, really interesting. The only thing I didn't really like was I felt it was a bit outdated, there were too many parts that were not danced, and so I felt a little bit like, you know, I was missing out something, because those dancers were amazing, and, um, you know, there were a few times where I like, okay, it would be nicer if they were dancing and it was a little bit less theatrical. That's probably because uh, Kenneth Macmillan version dates back from the uh, the 60s. So I, I hope someday someone, you know, like revisit it because it's really great as is, uh, but maybe give a little bit more choreography to it. I don't know who 
decided to get chestnut trees in every big city in Europe. But please just stop because this is just horrible. It's a plague. But see, it just flies everywhere. It gets into your eyes. And most people I know, they're just sick. They just get allergies from it. Just, just stop growing them everywhere, please. Just stop. Today's a London marathon. I decided to go early to avoid the crowd. Obviously, slightly different experience, but it was still amazing to see those athletes. If you've enjoyed our video, check out our website, cordeballet.com, core, C-O-R-E. There are plenty of interviews of dancers and actors of the ballet world. There are follow along bar classes and conditioning exercise and many more cool stuff for dancers and teachers alike. Um, you can subscribe to our newsletter or our YouTube channels right here to be kept informed of the release of new videos. See you in the next episode of our Corps de Ballet Tour. Now, there is one thing I have to do on my way back to Paris.